Well, it's April 13th here in Haynesville, Maine. Most parts of the world it's springtime, but it's getting to be mud season here. As you can see, we still got some snow. It's just starting to melt. The yard's a mess. <clears throat> but it's too soft to do anything to it right now, so plan today is to set out a few beaver traps. We could trap beaver till April 31st. Uh, the river opened up here a week or so ago and I think the bank's open enough so we can set some traps. I'm not looking for a whole lot of beaver. I'd like to get a few to chop up and freeze for the fall. Um, made some, made about 30 more Fisher and Martin boxes. I even made some of the big style that accommodate, uh, oh, it'll take up to a 180, but I get these 155s that I use seem to work just fine. So, I got some old jump traps here. They work pretty good for me. I know there's newer and better stuff out there, but I got these and I'm not looking for a whole lot of beaver, so. We'll grab a few of them, some 330s. Uh, I need some of these green sacks. I like to put rocks in these for weight so you don't have to lug a bunch of weight around with you. I just tie off to that on my drowning rigs. <clears throat> um, yeah. So, so lots happened. It's been a while, probably almost a month since I put out a video. We uh, made some maple syrup with uh, Sasha's boy Jacob. Uh, he's got his own YouTube channel called Jacob in Maine. So we got a little maple syrup video there if you're interested in watching. Uh, apparently you can't drink Budweiser anymore. Or it'll make you want to chop your wiener off or something. So I always drank that, but... I like high life too. <laughs> so, yep. Well, it's supposed to be 60 today. Sunny. Not much wind right now, so. Sasha and I may go for a little canoe ride too. So, stay tuned. We'll do something fun today. Got a lot of beavers here. As you can see, I gotta wait. Sitting right here. Water's up pretty good right now. Not as high as it'll get, but see if we can't figure out a way to get a beaver trap in here.
hole in the boots. <laughs> I just like to make like a little fake slide. Try to draw their attention. Not seeing any chewed sticks right now, which is a little surprising, but they'll be getting pretty active here soon. Stake down. Plenty of depth and current to drown a beaver there, so. So we got the jump set. Let this slide look a little better here. Offset it just a little bit. Flat spot here. about hiding the trap too much they're not real leery um. <clears throat> there's some homemade beaver lure I made just castor gland oil uh, glycerin and uh, little peppermint schnapps Seems to work pretty well for me. Still smells good. Traps right there. An old one a beaver chewed up but what I'm gonna do is I'll stick that out right there <clears throat> so when that beaver swims up to check out the lure in the slide here he's gonna have to put his foot down 
I'm gonna adjust that trap a little bit, but he'll scoot up. And that stick is gonna hit him right in the face, so he's gonna have to stop, put his foot down, hopefully right on the trap. And we'll be checking this one tomorrow, so more than likely we'll have a beaver here in the next day or two. So I think we'll just move down the river here a little bit, put another set in. The house is just down there. We're only a couple hundred yards up the river, but a lot of beavers travel through here. So off to the next one. more snow left in the woods than I thought. Not too much farther up this beaver pond though. Well, as you can see this brook hasn't totally opened up yet but we actually we walked out on this old dam and I've trapped this spot for years and this little slide that goes over caught I don't know how many beaver and otter out of here but doesn't seem to be a whole lot of activity right yet but it's getting on breeding season so and the water's all just starting to open up so the beaver will be real active so I'm going to stick a 330 in here and so anybody's guess whether it'll be a beaver or an otter first. But here we go. I can get a steak in here somehow. Still pretty froze. Dive stick in. Remember to take safeties off. We'll probably give this one a few days, but 
pretty sure we'll get something out of there. There's a stake. That's how high the water was another year I was trapping right here. <clears throat> Did a fresh beaver chewing over there, so I'm moving up and down the river. <clears throat> Always make sure you get the slide going the right way. It's embarrassing when you show up and the beaver's sitting there on the bank looking at you.
take care of getting our Fisher and Martin bait right now. So November, when there's open water and you should be trapping beaver, we can be busy deer hunting. Well, there's another one. It's another spot that produces all the time, so we'll have a few beavers. So this is the big river, Matawum Keg. And this trail's a little hard to see right now, but it goes right across the road. Over to this swamp. Beavers seem to like this spot, travel back and forth. The river's pretty close to the road right here. Nice beaver lodge out there. We have to wait till the water comes down a little bit, and I think we can get over some 330 stuck in that little brook going in. Got the channels. Spring's starting a little slow up here. Well, we got three sets out today. I was hoping for a couple more, but the uh, river's really just not where. I was hoping it was. Um, we, were, we need a week of this weather right here. It's 60 degrees out, it's beautiful. It's been a long winter and looks like we got a slow melt coming. So we're still a few weeks away from fiddleheads and trout fishing, but we gotta get some flies tied up and get ready for that. So we'll, uh, we'll check those footholds out in the morning, see how we did. You really got to stay on top of those on the river there because the water comes up and down so fast. Uh, I know overnight one night I had a beaver trap set out in front of the camp and the river must have come down three feet overnight because when I went down to check it in the morning there was a <laughs> raccoon standing on my cinder block. So uh, luckily it was cold and he was numb so I just grabbed him by the back of his neck and turned him free. But Anyway, we'll see what happens tomorrow. Hopefully we get a beaver. Thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you enjoy the videos. I'll keep them coming. Um, have fun making them. We're always doing something up here.